Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm here today in uh, Tel Aviv on a business trip and I've got a little bit of time to kill. So I thought I'd do a video blog about what's going on in Israel with the elections. We're having elections on Tuesday. In other words, two days from now, it's called in Hebrew, Yom Bichirot. One of the few advantages of Israel having had so many elections recently, this is gonna be the fifth um, elections in less than four years, is that if you work in Israel for if you're a salaried employee, it is a national holiday, so uh, the um, the process of holding a barbecue on election day has become somewhat familiar to people in recent years because we've had so many elections. Um, I am not personally feel pretty disengaged with the political process at the moment. Disillusion maybe is just as good a word. Um, it's been going on for so long, there's so much negative campaigning from parties, there's so much infighting, so much bickering. So much um, of the political debate seems to me is about um, the politics of one person, Netanyahu, which just doesn't really make any sense to me. The issues I care about personally, I'm going to be, as usual, looking at what the party's manifestos are at the very last minute, meaning when I get back to Jerusalem tonight. What's, what I'm looking for is uh, security and um, some party that's serious about tackling the cost of living because that's just a huge issue here is it's so so expensive um, that's the biggest issue facing me in my day-to-day -day life anyway so I'm gonna be checking that out but uh, knowing almost nothing about who's running at the moment what their manifestos are I'm in no way qualified to, uh, to to give information so I'm just gonna leave it at that one thing I will say is why is Israel going to elections so frequently so it has to do with the fact that there's never been a, a single party has never had a majority, in other words, been able to get enough votes that it was able to govern by itself. That's what CNN said in an article I, I just read. I hope they're correct about that. Certainly the case in recent years, so it's a case of forming coalitions and of course governing by coalition. It's, uh, it's prone to breaking. So that's what happened. Um, this particular coalition lasted not so long, less than two years and it basically fell apart eventually. Um, at the moment, the Prime Minister is Yair Lapid. With the, he's from the Yishatid party, which is pretty centrist. Likud is the right-wing party, and then you've got left-wing parties as well. The main debate I'm seeing at the moment with regard to the uh, this coming election is that it may force Netanyahu from Likud, might be forced to um, bring in very, very far right-wing politicians, specifically a guy called Itamar ben Gvir. He's become kind of the lightning rod for debate about this election. If that happens, if that block, that electoral block, the right-wing block, gets enough votes, they're going to bring in ben Gvir and uh, Betzalel Smotrich, both, both of who are pretty far right, to say the least. Uh, so those are kind of the center, what the election is hinging on. So that's what's going on. Uh, votes are in two days. I'm going to be barbecuing in two days and trying to inform myself about what party stands for what sometime before that.